we are working on a research project so that we can see what you see. And uh, the goal of the research project is that we can better determine what the time is to operate you when you develop a cataract. In the eye, there is a lens, and the lens focuses the light on your retina. And this allows you to see the world very clear. Over time, the lens becomes opacified, and this is called cataract. And this limits the light to be focused well on the retina, and that causes blurring of your vision, and the opacities may also cause uh, to see double, to have double vision. And the light is scattered more by particles in the lens, and this stray light uh, causes a veil of light over the retina, and that decreases your vision when you look, for example, into a headlight. The treatment of cataract is surgery. And with an operation, we take out the lens and put in a clear artificial one. And then you can see the world clear again. Now, what is the right time to operate? And one thing is, we can ask the patients themselves. Several questionnaires have been developed and they ask questions about how debilitating the vision is for the patient. For example, for walking on uneven ground or reading subtypes, subtitles on television, um, seeing faces, recognizing people uh, when you walk on the street. And there is a good correlation between the severity of the complaints as uh, given by the patient and the success of surgery. The more severe the disabilities, the better the outcome. But there are people who are very satisfied with the result of surgery, but before surgery, they didn't express that much difficulties in these questionnaires. So this might not be the ideal test to discriminate between who you should operate and who not. Now, a different test is measuring visual acuity. And on a chart with various letters of decreasing size, people have to identify the smallest letter that they can read. And the smaller the letter, the better the visual acuity. There's also a good correlation between if you have a low visual acuity, you can only see the smallest of the biggest of letters and the outcome of surgery. But again, there are people who saw before surgery the smallest of letters on these charts, but still were very satisfied with the surgery. So what might be a better measure? I think it's aberrations and stray light. Here you see a picture uh, which is blurred. And this is blurred because the light did not reach the retina. It was out of focus. And with invisible laser light, we can measure how light is distorted in the eye and how the image is formed. And we call that aberrometry. Another thing that we can do is look at stray light. So light is scattered in the eye. And we all have that. And we can see that when we drive at night and look at headlights. There's a, a spreading out of the light. But with cataract, this increases dramatically. And we can measure the amount of stray light in your eye with an instrument called the sequent, the cataract quantifier. And if we have these two measurements, we can use that to see what you can see. Now, how could we do that? We can make a filter out of it. It's like on Instagram. If you take a picture and you post it on Instagram, you can use various filters. And this is the, the X-Pro2 filter. And there's some vignetting on the edges 
of the, of the photograph. It's a bit dark. You can change the colors, but you can also blur parts of the image so that only the center part of the monkey is very clear. These measurements that we do in the eye, we can also apply that as a filter to an image. So if we have an image of a road with various cars, we can apply the filter of the patient onto that so that we are able to see what the patient is seeing. Now, how could we use that to determine what the right time is to operate you? Well, we can also measure people with clear lenses, normal lenses, and we can measure uh, patients who have already been operated for cataract and see how they see the world. And we can compare your image to theirs. So the idea that we are working on is to see what you see, and with that, we'll be able to better determine what the right time is to operate you when you develop a cataract and help you. Thank you. <laughs>